The sibling CEOs of Vineyard Vines are living the good life. Ian and Chef Murray decided to ditch their desk jobs 15 years ago and focus on finding profit in a bright pink whale. They started by selling ties out of their Jeep on Martha's Vineyard. Now they employ over 120 people and sell a whole lifestyle in 600 stores around the world. Saks, Nordstrom's, a new pop-up shop in Bloomingdale's. They were even named the official style of the Kentucky Derby. How do they do it? Well, here they are in studio, Ian and Chef Murray. Guys, it's great having you here. So many people love your products. So many people in this newsroom love your products. Um, what inspired you to trade in a tie only so that you could make a tie and now I have to come on Bloomberg and put ties back on. You know, I think what we really wanted to do was do something we loved and something that we felt passionate about. So we had this idea to make neckties to bring uh, the good life to work with people. And uh, since then, instead of just wearing neckties, we, we told people, you know, listen, we can make stuff to live the good life. And our, our company line, our way of life is every day should feel this good. And so that's what we try and do every day. But we did wear a suit for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, when was the last time you guys wore suits? Uh, actually, it was yesterday. We did an event with Forbes, the 400. Uh, it was a philanthropic Forbes 400 event at the UN, which is really fun. We were, felt pretty honored to be there. I mean, it's it's amazing. You guys, 15 years ago, basically, were told you needed to get serious, and so your 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 response to getting serious was to start selling ties on Martha's Vineyard on the beach. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I can remember Shep called me, went for his review at work. And they told him he needed to think more inside the box. He was getting too By the way, what was your job at the time? I was working at uh, an ad agency on Madison Avenue okay. on the new business team. Ad agency. And they, and they said, think inside the box. Yeah. <laughs> think more inside the box. So I went up to HR and I quit. And I called Ian. And uh, five minutes later, he called me. And uh, I quit my job, too. I was working for a little PR firm on uh, Madison. Wow. And uh, we rode the bar car home. We were living at home with our parents. We signed up for all the credit cards we could while we had an income, took cash advance checks out against it. So did you know you were going to start the business? Yeah, we, I mean, we, we sort of decided in it? January that we were going to start. And we, we ended up quitting in, in June. So about six months later, we got some prototypes. And, uh, but we really didn't know what we were doing. We're not really fashion guys. We're more brand guys. So we, we were inspired by Tom and Tom from Nantucket Nectars and David Nealman at JetBlue and Starbucks and all those sorts of people who had a lot of fun doing whatever it is they were going to do. So for us, it was going to be clothing. And then I think just to add to that, the importance of community. Ian and I have always embraced the communities in which we've been in. And uh, this thing yesterday at Forbes was all about the, uh, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates doing the Giving Pledge. And uh, we've always been, you know, huge in giving back to the communities that have helped us grow. So, and you know, I remember um, just a couple of weeks ago when 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 I saw you guys for the first time in many years at an event, and you said the first thing you were going to do uh, was go back to your office that morning and figure out how you could help people in Oklahoma. How much how much of giving back is 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 wired into the the the, the theory of Vineyard Vines? I think, um, like Chef said, it's a lot about community and. Uh, for us, it's always been we wouldn't be where we are doing what we're doing if it wasn't for people supporting us. So it's been important to us to keep everyone together. When we, as we open our, our retail stores and we roll them out, it's important that our locations are always uh, let's meet at Vineyard Vines. We like to be in a corner, you know, in a, in a high traffic place where there's something for everybody. So this idea of giving back to the people who've helped us build our business has, has been important. And, and what, what is hot? You guys started in, in ties, you've got flip-flops, you've got, I mean, you name it, you've got it. We make, we make clothing for men, women, and kids, but I mean, when our bathing suits, our ties, our woven shirts. Um, we have the shirt called the Shep shirt, uh, which was modeled Name after for you. Uh, yeah, modeled after a shirt that we bought, you know, 35 years ago on a, on a trip in Switzerland. And um, it's, just been, it's just been awesome. But the real thing is that people really like our story. And we're, you know, I think we're here to say that the American dream is still alive and well. And what we turned from an $8,000 credit card cash advance <laughs> into, crazy. you know, okay. we have we have right. about 150 people in our uh, in our office in Stamp Stanford, and then about 500 in our retail stores. That's excluding all the people in the factories and warehouse. Um, but to think that we've made a difference and been this kind of flag that people wear, if you will, to. Um, go out and live the good life, and people love it. You, Ian was talking about going into our store. You're welcomed into our store. There's, there's always a lounge, there's a TV, there's someone offering you water. We want people to come visit, 
and and the hope is that uh, they have a good time. Welcome working. Your sales have been growing uh, pretty significantly. Yeah. Um, you're expecting 40 percent growth this year. Where is that growth coming from? Well, new retail, retail yeah, retail I, outlets. Yeah, I, I think what's happened is you know. Since we started, we've always been um, a direct business. We've always had a website and a catalog business. Even 15 years ago, before a lot of people did that, we've got wholesale business, like we said, partners like Bloomingdale's and the Nordstrom and the Saks of the world. Um, and so, and then we opened our own brick and mortar retail stores. So having those those three combinations have been great. And what we've seen is we've been incrementally adding our own stores. And so that's brought a lot of um, a. It's helped our sales, but it's also increased our visibility as we open more markets. And we're finding those customers are shopping with us directly, and also going into their local stores as well. How many new stores are you adding this year? Uh, we'll add about uh, eight. This year, and we'll we'll add a bunch uh, next year. All throughout the country. Or all yeah. throughout all, all throughout the country. And I think it's important that Ian and I have this mission to be always better, not necessarily bigger. And we've been able to grow this thing organically without taking on any partners. And and I think that it's helped our team. Oh, really? Did you say that not a lot of debt, right? We have we have no debt, no partners. No debt at all, which is amazing in this very it's low interest incredible. rate environment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you were the guys that took out all the debt to start the business right. in the first right. place, but no debt now. We're we're actually just you know we work with the bank with a, with a revolving line, but um, actually signing a new bank deal today or tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> Uh, which we'll announce for working today. inventory, presumably, exactly, exactly. Not, not not longer term debt. Exactly, exactly. Before and we let you go, yep. Um, there's a new reality show that's actually taping in Martha's Vineyard yes. right now, right. Uh, and it's you know kind of going to be like one of these MTV The Hills following these yeah. rich kids all around. Are you worried at all? If that's going to affect or damage the well, brand. Well, so they, they approached Vader. us about doing some stuff with them, and um, I, I think they may film a scene or two in one of our stores, but we sort of, uh, you know, welcome them to, keep your distance? To, to do what they're going to do. I think, though, generally uh, it's been well received. I think there's a little controversy early on, but I think it's been a lot about nothing. I think it's probably end up being a nice show, hopefully, and not disrupting. Yeah, we wish them all the best. It's, yeah. it, it sounds like it's going to be great. And uh, we have a brand new store in Egertown, which is where it all started, which opened a couple weeks ago. and it's been doing great, so we're really, really happy about that. Yeah, exciting stuff. Uh, Ian and Shep Murray, what a pleasure to have you guys on. So many people wear your stuff. Really cool story. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Great to see you, Adam. Great stuff.